Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how we can make the PDF download using the Node.js HTTP module, right? So I'm having a PDF file at my server, right? That is TypeScript.pdf. Now I want to create the server side code in such way that whenever a user go on a particular URL or a path, this particular PDF file get downloaded inside its system, right? So I want this particular thing to happen. So how we can do it? So basically what I have done for you, that is first of all, I have imported this HTTP module, right? And created the server using the create server method, then made the server to listen to the port number 3000. And then there's a callback function, right? Now for doing this, we need a one more module that is the file system module. So we'll write const fs equals to require, require, put the bracket here and write fs. Got it? Now after doing this, now let's come here that is http.create server now inside of this now we are going to write the main code so i want that uh, if if the person or the client go on the url that is your pdf right when the person will go on localhost 3000 slash pdf in that particular case i want this a particular file to get downloaded right so for that purpose we will write here that is fs dot read file first of all read that particular file which which file your type script dot means your particular pdf file dot pdf right basically we give the path here but since it is in the same directory that's why i have get given uh just the name right so comma after that uh what we do we will give a callback function that is err comma data and inside of this we will uh, first of all deal with the error that is if there's an error in that particular case you just give response dot end inside of this you will write error reading the pdf right now if there is no error in that particular case we will use this data right because whatever the thing that you have read in from this particular pdf get stored inside this data right so for that we want to uh, basically show on the browser or the client side right that's for that purpose we need to give the response right but there's one important thing that you need to understand which is the main part of this particular lecture that is uh, starting from the response we first give the response dot write head right it write head now inside this write head for, you need to give few things First of all, the status code of 200, right? And after that, after that, uh, we will do what? We will write content type. We need to define the content type. Now, what will be content type for this? The content type will be application, application slash PDF. We are dealing with a PDF, right? So we need to give the content type as application slash PDF. Now, there's a one important thing more that is content disposition this content disposition inside this you need to write attachment attachment right attachment then i put the semicolon and write the file name as type script dot pdf right so yeah this is what you need to do this content di disposition in this particular thing, why we had given this attachment? Let me explain you. When you write attachment here, right? When you get write attachment here, that means you are st instructing the browser to download this particular PDF, right? Download this particular PDF. And if you put the inline here, inline here, in that particular case, what the browser will do, it will open that particular PDF in your browser. Right, it will not make the download, it will actually open that particular PDF. Right, so this is what the thing is, and basically, uh, you need to give the file name, right? So that's compulsory. That what PDF about should be the name of PDF file that should be displayed on the client side, right? So this is what we do, and after that, in the end, you just write a response dot end, put the bracket here, and set this the data. That's it, right? Let's let's give the else condition for this also, this condition also, right. So let's give the else and here I'll write, uh, let's say what I write response dot end inside of this. Let's write that error, right? Or page not found, page not found, right? 
that will be better so this is the complete code i hope you understood this thing till now now let's go to the browser right so let's save it let's go to the terminal let's clear everything first and we will write node script dot js press the enter after pressing enter you can see that our browser sorry server has started at the port number 3000 right and let's open it here that is localhost 3000 after that slash pdf let's just press enter let's see that what happened when i press enter okay nothing happened why let's see okay uh, a small mistake that we have done that is we have put this slash here so request.url that is slash pdf so let's uh, save it now and let's again start the server and when we go here and let's remove this let's remove this thing and again let's write here that is localhost 3000 then slash pdf press the enter and you can see the file get downloaded that is typescript.pdf right and if you press enter you can see the pdf file get opened and that particular file is here now inside my system right so how it happened it happened from the server side right and that's how we deal with it i hope you understood the concept very easily and this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye